That long walk is underway and they come into view. Well, there's no prouder moment for any manager, Brian, than uh, the moment that Terry Neal and Dave Sexton are enjoying at this moment. It's an incredible feeling. Um, sometimes it's after years of hard work, obviously, but it's certainly after a season's hard work. It's an achievement just to be here. Obviously, you want to win very, very badly, but uh, getting here is a milestone in any manager's career. And the Arsenal uh, team... Pat Jennings in goal, Pat Rice, Sammy Nelson, Brian Talbot, David O'Leary, Willie Young, fit again, Liam Brady, Alan Sunderland, Frank Stapleton, David Price, Graham Ricks, and the substitute is Steve Walford. Just to run through quickly now the Manchester United side with Gary Bailey in goal, Jimmy Nicholl, Arthur Alberston, Sammy McElroy, Gordon McQueen, Martin Bucken, Steve Koffel, Jimmy Greenoff, Joe Jordan, Lou Macari, Mickey Thomas with their substitute, and international Brian Greenoff. A place in European football next season is at stake in the Cup Winners' Cup. The prize is a big one. The game is full of promise. And in the moment, Von Chalice will blow that first blast of his whistle. And away we go. Arsenal then kicking off, attacking that goal to Allen. O'Leary, one of the calmest men in the game, only 21 years old. Oh, he slipped badly there, though. A lot of rain yesterday, but it's bright and it's beautiful today. Willie Young thumping that ball away. Here's Alberston with the header. Talbot. Stapleton. It's, well, there's a nasty old collision on the far side there. And that's left... Uh, a player from either side in a bit of trouble. Frank Stapleton is one. I'm not sure who the Manchester United player is. I wonder how many steps Gary Bailey took there. Nelson's header. And Sunderland's again. Good timing getting it in the air. Now, Brady with Makari snapping at him. I wonder if that's going to be the sort of thing we shall see for 90 minutes, that Makari will need to stick close to Brady when he's in the midfield there. Price going right in there. And turning it back, and a goal! And it's got to be, well, either Talbot or Sunderland. They don't know themselves, but it's in the back of the net. The first piece of work that Gary Bailey had to do. And really he stood no chance with it. Price getting past his man, Bailey plunging out. As they went in there, it looks like Sunderland in fact. Yeah, it was a good goal as well. Buckham didn't do too well there in the defensive position. And Sunderland's earned that goal actually with his, with his contribution already. And there it is. Pleased with his way his side of performing, even though they are this goal down. A free kick then to Manchester United. Thomas with it, no, running over it. McElroy curling it in once more towards Joe Jordan. Oh, word, that was a little too close to comfort for Arsenal. Jordan winning that in the air well from Willie Young. McElroy's curling free kick. And not a lot to spare. Dangerous little player down this right flank, but it's Makari who's occupying that position at the moment. Nickel playing it in towards Joe Jordan, dumbing underneath it, and it might come for Greenoff just over the top. What a beautifully worked move, though, by Manchester United involving uh, Mickey Thomas as well. Ricks for Nelson. Again, a good looking cross there. Oh, my word! Stapleton so close to a really spectacular goal there. Nelson's cross, almost straight out of the European Gymnastics Championship, that. McElroy again, that curling corner, and it's in the back of it, no, it's disallowed, a foul on Jennings. Disallowed, McQueen got the header in, looks disappointed, and we've got a beautiful view of it now. Was there a foul on Pat Jennings here? Was it indeed a handball? 
Here's Brady. Going all the way, can he find the shot or the cross? There's the little cross coming in, and that's number two by Stapleton. Made by Brady. In the end, quite a simple header for Frank Stapleton. There's Brady shrugging them all off. And then looking up. To see what's on, look at the space for stable on the left of the picture there as well. And in the end, a simple header. Brian? Yes, that took them apart. Brady resisted challenges time after time again. There's one, goes around somebody else too, but this is where all the hard work comes now. He's even got time to look up and place that across. Looked easy, but it wasn't easy. And away we go at the start of the second half. Manchester United in their red shirts attacking the goal to our left. Two goals down. And Jordan has Willie Young slipped for just a moment. But Nelson was there to do the repair job for Arsenal, and Brady was right back there. What a nice bit of play by him, finding Ricks, and then whacking the ball forward, but not before it had gone out of play. So a throw to Manchester United. Now Stapleton, can he get away from McQueen? Held him up just long enough, but here's Brady. Ricks outside him, there's a beautifully weighted ball for Graham Ricks and a lovely little chip from him towards Stapleton and in fact it was the knees of Gary Bailey and almost a replica of Arsenal's second goal. Free kick for Manchester United, which they might want to take quickly now with four minutes to go. Two nothing down and hope now is fast fading for them as... Koppel lifts that free kick in there again. It'll come all the way through to Jordan, turning it back in there again. And a goal! And it's given! And McQueen is the man who claims it. And suddenly, United are back in the game with four minutes left. And who knows what might be produced in those four minutes. Here we come again. It came through to Jordan here. I thought the chance had gone, but he knocked it back in there, and it was McQueen who turned it past Jennings into the net. Well, the United fans wanted him to get on with it, and that wasn't a very good ball by him. But here's Koppel, and there's McElroy getting in there. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can! Two goals in a minute, and suddenly United are back in it. Well, look at that picture, that tells it all. Arsenal were preparing their victory speeches, and now they're dumbstruck. Sammy McElroy seemed to travel miles there. Turning O'Leary, Walford went in there, couldn't contact him. Jennings came out, and the ball agonisingly just inside the post. What an amazing turnaround. And from behind, we see it again. Just inside the net. Unbelievable. I'm delighted for them. They've earned it since three o'clock. They put themselves back in with a shout. Well, Sammy McElroy, what an amazing turnabout. And the scenes on the two benches, well, I've never heard of. The despair on the face of Don Howe and uh, Terry Neal. But wait a moment. It's there by Sunderland. And they're back in the lead again, and they're off the bench once more. What an amazing cup final. Well, that's when you're at your most vulnerable, when suddenly you've got it all back. They relax for a moment, and Arsenal have punished them for it. Brady leading the charge, Ricks with the cross, and look at Sunderland scheming in there, too high for Bailey. Beautiful for Sunderland. Jennings gets it away, it's all over. Arsenal have won it. When it seemed a moment ago, they threw it away, the two managers greet each other. And the proudest moment in his career because Arsenal make up for last year's defeat and take the cup to Highbury.